Oh, hi everyone. So, I've been running Maradon with my DPS warrior. Uh, I've been using um, a pretty special trick. You use the diamond flask, but you put on a load of healing armor. This basically massively increases the amount of health that you're healed for. So, I'm just going to run through this um, dungeon, right? I've um, recorded a few other videos, but I kind of figured this would be the best one, maybe. So, I'm just going to upload this one, I think. So, yeah, as a level 60, you shouldn't have too much problem running through here. Just um, stick to the walls, try to avoid everyone. It's kind of, like, nerve-wracking at first, but actually you kind of get used to it and run through the whole dungeon like this. Um, I've kind of run all the way through and um i've killed every single boss in here apart from princess so i might try killing princess again yeah the actual amount of healing that i'm getting every five seconds is about 350 at the moment this is the first save that i've actually used the technique so just to go over the technique very quickly guys um you need your diamond flask equipped you then put on your healing gear which is this um and if I go for, let me think, yeah, spell, you might notice I've got 326 healing. <laughs> Why would a Fury Warrior need 326 healing? Well, this will give me 326 plus 9 healing every 5 seconds for a minute. This will enable me to basically kill any boss in here. I also want to get more healing stuff because it's... It's a lot of fun, especially in a um, prolonged battle. So you've got Lee of Life Giver, which will give you another 50 free healing, I believe. So I think I could probably only have one of them, but nevertheless, that's pretty amazing. And I think I can get an enchant on my shoulders. Well, being revered with Zulgarab, okay. So yeah, all in all, I'm hopefully looking at about 400 healing every five seconds. So once you've actually activated your Diamond Flask, you can swap back to your regular armor. Now, I was actually using nature resist potions before, but I'm going to try it without because they cost about five or six gold each at the moment. Let's give it a go without. Now that I've got my um, 330 healing every five seconds, and we'll sort of see how it goes. I've also got my recklessness ready in case I need it. And let's have a little go. Oh gosh, I'm taking so much damage, it's ridiculous. So the problem with the Diamond Flask guys is you kind of need to get the fight over with within a minute or else you'll sort of lose any benefit. And also, I'm looking at my health very closely. I think I'm going to use um, a Greater Nature Protection Pot, guys. So, that'll block the damage because he does nature damage. Okay, so to be honest, oh yes, this is absolutely what I wanted. So you can get two of these trinkets, guys. They give you 10 nature resistance and remove one poison effect. If you guys don't know, for DPS, we're trying to get nature resist gear for AQ40 because there's two bosses where you need nature gear well the first boss where you need nature gear I think the 20 people who are nearest the boss will be taking massive amounts of um, nature damage right so you need to have at least 200 nature resistance or more just to uh, withstand that basically that's why everyone wants the nature resist gear if you're interested guys I did actually do a run through on my channel a while ago with AQ40 and AQ20. I'm going to go on to the second boss, guys, right? The problem with this um, method is I've got about four minutes left on my Diamond Flask. But i tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to show you a few highlights of um, the bosses I did earlier. Not 
Whoa, dude. I'm not. Oh my god.
Hey everyone, so I like this princess. She's actually got traditional Japanese shoes on, kind of. Ah. Yeah. Seems like this is the big one, guys. I've got no idea if this is going to work. She might be harder than the other ones. So, oh. Still got a cooldown on my trinket. I need to get more healing stuff, guys. This is just amazing. I didn't know, like, warriors were this powerful. But yeah. But this trinket is literally the most powerful trinket in the game by far. <clears throat> it's actually the most powerful item in the game by far. Wow. Not only that, Blizzard have actually said that it's acceptable and it's working as intended. So, wow, yeah. That's all I can say. Don't want to get complacent, guys. This is not guaranteed to work. Hmm. 